here and oh, I forgot to tell you. On the weekend, I had a soccer game and I scored a goal and my team won the game. Ooh, congratulations! High five! Yeah. Well, you are really good at playing soccer, yeah. right? Hmm. Pretty good. I where did you just go? You just went out really quickly and then you came back really quickly. Where mm -hmm. did you go? I just went to the bathroom. That quick? Yeah, it doesn't take that long. Did you even wash your hands? Yeah, of course. Like scrubbing your hands with soap for 20 seconds while singing happy birthday twice? I put water on my hands. So that means you didn't use soap? Well, you know, the water just rinses away everything. And... Water does not kill germs. And I just high-fived you. Matt! What? You're supposed to wash your hands after you go to the bathroom. Yeah, but I mean, 20 seconds, happy birthday, twice. That, who has time for that, Karen? People who take care of their bodies and people who don't want to get sick. Remember, virus, bacteria, and yucky, yucky germs. Matt, you really have to remember. And now I have to go and wash my hands. Ugh. Oh, come Ugh. On. Ugh. Amy and Colin are at a restaurant. Ugh. I saw a woman in the bathroom. She didn't wash her hands with soap. Some guys don't do that either. The bathroom is dirty. Don't they know that? I don't know. At my house, we put the lid down before we flush the toilet. everyone, welcome to ABC Interactive English and I am Karen. And I'm Matt. Today we are looking at part A of bathroom talk. And in our dialogue today, it's a dialogue between Amy and Colin. And Amy and Colin are at a restaurant. So what is a restaurant, Matt? Okay, a restaurant is a place that sells food that has been prepared, it's been made for you to eat, and you can eat it, it at this place. So a restaurant is somewhere you go to eat food, and you know, it can be any kind of restaurant. There's many different kinds. There's fast food restaurants, there's restaurants which we call sit-down restaurants, where you will sit at a table and have someone bring you the food. So, for example, I always go to a nice restaurant on my birthday. Aw, to celebrate your birthday, right? Mm -hmm. Nice, fancy meal. Okay, well, let's take a look at the dialogue between Amy and Colin. So, I will be Amy and you will be Colin. You Colin. Okay, so Amy starts off by saying, Ugh, I saw a woman in the bathroom. She didn't wash her hands with soap. Just like you, Matt. Very fine. That is not okay. okay so what well, does Colin say? I think Colin is not like me because he says, some guys don't do that either. <laughs> uh oh. Mm. So that means quite a lot of people do not wash their hands right, after so they go to the bathroom. Very normal. <laughs> Okay, so we have this vocabulary word here, guy, and that is a noun. When you say a guy, you can be referring to a boy or a man. But if you say guys, you can be referring to a group of people. Even if they're all girls, you can also say guys. So for example, you can say, what are you guys doing? So you're referring to the group of people you are talking to. And Amy says, the bathroom is dirty. Don't they know that? And that is true. Just being in the bathroom is dirty? Well, you would be touching the door, right? You use your, you use your elbow just to, to... Can you turn the doorknob with your elbow? You turn the tap, turn the tap on like this? Can you do that? I think so I can. That means your elbows will be dirty. 
Yeah, but they're not touching my food or anything else. I can't, I can't lick my elbow, I've tried. <laughs> okay, well, what does dirty mean? So dirty means un... Matt. Hey. <laughs> dirty means unclean. Oh. So the word dirt is a noun which means the soil or unclean things. So when something is dirty, maybe it has some dirt on it or it just is not clean. It can have marks, it can have... It can be smelly, might be considered dirty too, like dirty right. clothes. Mm -hmm. So, for example, the boy's pants were dirty after he fell in the mud. Ah, muddy can also be dirty too, right? Okay, so what does Colin say now? Colin says, I don't know. At my house, we put the lid down before we flush the toilet. Wow, okay, so I guess Colin really cares about being clean and not getting things dirty, right? Because he puts the lid down before he flushes the toilet. So, we have this vocabulary word here, lid, and that is a noun. So, a lid is basically a removable cover, something that you can move to cover something, usually for a box or a jar. But in today's case, we're talking about the lid for the toilet. So you can kind of close it, and then, so when you flush it, the water is not going to get to different places, right? So for example, you can say, Please put your lid down before you flush the toilet. And I think that's a good habit to have. Uh, maybe. But, <laughs> so, to flush the toilet, to flush means to pour a large amount of water over something. Mm -hmm. So it can be, actually can be water or another liquid. Mm -hmm. Does not need to be water. So when we say flush the toilet, we mean when you press the, press the little button to cause the water to run over the toilet and new water will come in and you have flushed the toilet. Mm -hmm. We can also use it for other things like, for example, if you have a burn, you should flush it with water. Oh, you are right. So you might not have to go to the hospital, right? Mm -hmm help you to feel better. That's right. So how about you? In your home, do you, you know, close the lid before flushing the toilet or put the lid on? Ah, uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't uh, flush the toilet that often. You don't flush your toilet? Well, I'm trying to save water, Karen. Don't you care about saving water? <gasps> Matt, so that means your bathroom is probably dirty and smelly, right? I don't smell anything. <sighs> okay, there are some habits you need to change. But let's take a short break first and we'll be back really soon. You No! <laughs> We do that at my house too. We also put the cap back on after we use the toothpaste. We also do that. And we don't use other people's toothbrushes. Now that is really dirty to me. I don't like that. Welcome back. So Amy and Colin are at a restaurant and Amy has just told Colin that she saw someone in the bathroom who didn't wash their hands with soap. And now they are talking about some other things that happen in the bathroom. That's right. And Colin was saying that in his home, he puts the lid down before flushing the toilet, right? And now Amy says, we do that at my house too. So they both have good habits, right? I, I guess so. <laughs> they want to keep their bathroom nice and clean. So Colin says, we also put the cap back on 
after we use the toothpaste. Mm-hmm. Do you know anybody who does not put the cap back on after they use the toothpaste? I think most people put the cap back on now because it's pretty easy. It has a, a little flip, a flip、oh. cap, so you can do it with one hand.、Mm-hmm. But if you have the toothpaste that doesn't have the flip cap and it's a, a screw on and off cap,、mm-hmm. you need to use two hands. So if you're holding your toothbrush with one hand and the toothpaste with the other, you might just put it down and not put the cap back on. I don't think that's a good idea, but that is our vocabulary word cap, and that is a noun. So cap is kind of like a lid; it's like the cover for something. Usually, usually for something like a tip. So, for example, like a bottle cap. So you can say,、oh, "I cannot find my bottle cap." And if you cannot find your bottle cap, then you cannot really close it, right?、Mm. And dirty things. We'll go inside. Same thing with your toothpaste. Okay. Well, toothpaste is—it's a wet substance for cleaning your teeth.、Mm-hmm. So it's what you have in a tube, as we say, a tube of toothpaste. And you take that tube of toothpaste, you squeeze it、mm-hmm. to get the toothpaste onto your toothbrush,、mm-hmm. and that's how you clean your teeth or how you brush your teeth. And you do use toothpaste when you brush your teeth, right? Most of the time, yes. <laughs> Did you just say most of the time and not all the time? Well, sometimes it's if you haven't bought a new tube of toothpaste, and you're trying to squeeze out the last bit, but there's just nothing left. So, <sighs> Matt. Okay, and now Amy says we also do that. And we don't use other people's toothbrushes, and I think everybody knows that, right? We shouldn't use anybody's toothbrushes other than your own. What if you didn't bring one, and someone else has one? <sighs> okay. Then maybe just rinse your mouth with water. All right. Right. Okay. So Colin says, "Now that is really dirty to me." I don't like that. I don't think anybody likes sharing their toothbrushes, right? However, while、well, you can have different uses for your toothbrushes, like the old ones that you don't need anymore, they're actually really good for cleaning your white sneakers, your white shoes. You put a little bit of toothpaste. On your toothbrush, and then you can brush up the dirt and all the mud off your white sneakers. Then you use the toothbrush in your mouth after. <laughs> do you think I would do that, Matt? Oh,、okay. <laughs> not a good idea. Okay, well, this is all the time we have for today, and we hope you enjoyed our lesson. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Bye. Amy and Colin are at a restaurant. Ugh, I saw a woman in the bathroom. She didn't wash her hands with soap. Some guys don't do that either. The bathroom is dirty. Don't they know that? I don't know. At my house, we put the lid down before we flush the toilet. We do that at my house too. We also put the cap back on after we use the toothpaste. We also do that, and we don't use other people's toothbrushes. Now that is really dirty to me. I don't like that. Hi, I'm Tina. 我们来看这一课的重点单词。第一个 ，restaurant. Restaurant. 名词，餐厅。We go to that Korean restaurant for dinner every Saturday. 我们每周六都会去那间韩式餐厅吃晚餐。下一个单词 ，guy. Guy. 名词，人，尤其是指男性。The guy at the door is my brother. 在门口的那个男生是我的弟弟。下一个单词 ，dirty. Dirty, 形容词，脏的。
The bathroom of the hotel was dirty. 那间饭店的浴室很脏。最后一个单词 cap, cap 名词盖子。I lost the cap to my camera lens. 我弄丢了我相机镜头的盖子。Lens 指的是镜片、镜头。接着我们来看重点文法。第一个 ，wash A with B， 用 B 清洗 A。Wash 是动词，清洗的意思。我们来看看这个例句。Mark washes his hair with soap. Mark 用香皂洗头。下一个文法 ，somebody doesn't 加动词 either， 某人也不怎么样。这里的 either 也可以念 either。either 是一个副词，表示也不，它会放在否定句的句尾，前面必须以逗号隔开主要子句。我们来看看这个例句 ：My mom doesn't drink milk, and I don't drink it either. 我妈妈不喝牛奶，我也不喝。最后一个文法 ，put down， 放下。put 是放置的意思，它的三态同形。我们来看看这个例句 ：Can I put the bags down？ 我可以把这些袋子放下来吗？课文后面这句 ，We also put the cap back on after we use the toothpaste。当中的 put back 也是相似用法，指的是放回去。我们来看看这个例句。Please put the books back on the shelf. 请把书放回架子上。以上就是这一课的重点单词跟文法。我们下一课再见喽，拜拜。I'm excited. Today we are taking a trip to this host's favorite place in Taiwan, Hualien. Now we all know that over the years, Hualien has gone through many changes. And the government has made a big effort to connect all of the cultural sites in Hualien, so it's easy to go there and have a really good cultural experience,、uh, from Japanese-style dormitories to the Pine Garden to Hualien Railway Culture Park. There is so much to see and enjoy. So why don't we watch the video and find out more? There are many historical sites in Hualien. They witness the development and changes Hualien has gone through, and let people know more about the stories behind these places. During the Qin Dynasty, the Hualien River estuary was the site of the main settlement on Hualien Harbor Street and the guarding place of the soldiers. However, as the Japanese government moved the military camp, this area gradually lost its value. Through project planning, the Hualien County government has connected all the historical sites and tried to save these parts of their culture and memories. From south to north, you can see several famous Hualien relics, such as the Japanese-style dormitories by the Meiluan River. The dormitories were for the Japanese officers to live in. At that time, people only knew that a high-ranking general was stationed here, so it was called the General's House. In addition, there is Pine Garden. It used to be the highest military command center of the Japanese Army in Hualien. It was also a place for the officers to rest because of its peaceful environment. Now it is open to the public to enjoy the historical and artistic atmosphere at the same time. The nearby Hualien Railway Culture Park was registered as a historical building. It was the old Hualien Railway Station in the past. After the completion of the North Link Line, it connected Gozai Way, Hualien Railway Station, Suchi Cultural Park, and so on from east to west. From port to land, by connecting historical relics and modern buildings, we can better understand the development history of Hualien City and further love the homeland and protect the culture. There is so much to see in Hualien. My favorite is probably Pine Garden. I haven't been there, but I plan to go because it looks really beautiful and relaxing. I'm also into trains, so got to make a trip to the Hualien Railway Culture Park. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and we will see you next time.